Hi everyone, Miss Caitlin here at the library coming to you today with a special story time and I thought that maybe today we could do the calendar. So let's see what we've got here. Uh oh, looks like it still has yesterday's information up there. So yesterday it was Sunday, January 3rd. The weather was snowy. It looks like we have quite a bit of snow out there. And the season is winter. So what does that mean today is if yesterday was Sunday, January 3rd? Hmm. Let's start with the day of the week. Yesterday was Sunday. What comes after Sunday? I think there's a song that can help us out with this. Do you know it? If you do, go ahead and sing it with me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what came after Sunday in our song? Sunday, Monday, right. So let's put Monday for the day of the week. And yesterday was the 3rd of January. So that means today is the... You're gonna have to help me out with this one. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, Four, right. Four comes after three. So today is the fourth day of January because our month didn't change. And yesterday it was pretty snowy, but I don't think it's snowing today. What is the weather today? Hmm. I'm looking out my window and it kind of looks cloudy to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the clouds. Is this a cloud? No, that says it's sunny. That's rain. This must be our cloud. And the season is still winter, right? It's still pretty cold out. So today is Monday, January 4th. It's cloudy and our season is winter. Awesome job helping me with the calendar today. Now I think it's time for a story. Let's go pick a book. So if you follow me through the library, I'm upstairs in the circus room and I'm going over to this basket. It says, feeling frosty? Warm up with a good book. We have the snowman. Frozen 2 Idea Lab. That seems fun. And Axel Annie. But I'm not going to read any of those today. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in this basket right here, which means I touch them and they need to be clean before somebody else can touch them. So the book I did end up choosing for story time today is called Snowmen at Night. Written by Carolyn Buner, and the pictures are by Mark Buner. One wintry day, I made a snowman, very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark. Off the lawn and down the street, right into the park. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others, sipping cups of ice cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do some skating tricks on the ice. 
Sometimes they start giggling <laughs> and they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. They gather up their snowballs. The pitcher takes his aim and underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight with snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Woo! They yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. Finally, they're tuckered out getting sleepy so they slowly gather up their things and one by one they go so if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's lost a little height you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night